everything all right? the mushrooms. Here are the blue toad stores. I've good. How about the amber? Can't have it, Shepard. Halwyn might make something nice with it for the young lady. All good? Have you got the amber? Here's the amber. Excellent. I've already prepared everything. I'll just put the amber into its setting. So that's it. Satisfied? Good work, Holwyn. Looks quite precious. Nervous? Yeah, a little. Ah, uh, don't sweat it. She's pregnant. She won't say no. What? Uh, she hasn't told you yet then. Ivy's pregnant? How? Didn't you, uh, know what I mean? Yes, but... Well, then you shouldn't be surprised. Here, take the bangle and go see her. You'll be all right. Everything all right? Are you pregnant? Who told you? Holwyn! The idiot! So you really are? I've always wanted a baby, haven't you? Yes, but that... it's also sudden. Fair enough. 
Was there anything else you wanted from me? Your father gave me his blessing. And I have an engagement bangle here for you. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. You will? I will. One condition, though. What condition? Promise me that we'll travel to Argon right after the wedding. But you're pregnant! That's the point! Before I become as round as a ball, I'd like to experience a real adventure and leave this barren island. Then I should talk to Diego. Hurry, he was going to leave better for good. Nut, what do you want? Smack you in the mouth because of Ivy. You really think you can? You asshole. I'll finish you off. Well then, let's fight. I'll turn you into a sheep. Stop, stop. You win. Leave Ivy alone. Yes, sure, yes. What's up? With a grin like that on your face, Gromar must have given you his blessing. That he did. Then let me in on it. Ivy wants to go with me to Argan. There's a war going on, my friend. That's no place for lovers. When you started to teach me, you promised to bring me to Argan one day. Back then, you were going to travel alone. You were a good teacher. I am absolutely capable of protecting her. You are able to protect her? <laughs> Prove it. I defeated you in a duel and killed the goblins, remember? I was nice enough to let you win, and the goblins were just goblins. In a real fight, you wouldn't have much of a chance. So prove to me that you can protect Ivy. Do you want to fight me again? No. I have a bundle of rare herbs here for Lyrka. Take it to her. You want me to go to Lyrka? I... I'd have to cross the dark forest. They say the wildest animals on the island live there. You don't have to go. You can stay on Fesher with Ivy and her sheep. 
Give me the bundle. All right, here you are. And here's a key, too. Use it to open the door at the end of my cave. Go east until you find a path. Follow it to the northwest. Of Lyrica, the... I'm not afraid. Might be, might not be, might be. Diego sent me. Yes, I know. <laughs> I bring you herbs. Give them to me. Here are the herbs. I'll leave then. Leave? No. You aren't here just because of the herbs. Diego didn't mention anything else. Didn't he, eh? But he promised he'd send you. Yes, he surely did. Why would he? <laughs> because I asked him to. You? Why? Because I sensed something right after they found you. Something that must be awakened. Sensed. Something slumbers in your chest. Some power. Nothing I know of. Yes, yes. I can sense it. it How? Just close your eyes. Good. I trust you. Yes. That's very good. Awake again. 
How long have I been sleeping? Oh, a couple of hours. <laughs> what? The awakening of magic takes its time. Can I cast spells now? Maybe. Where are we here? In a cave, under the dark forest. I... I know this cave. From your dreams? Yes, that's right. <laughs> what are we doing here? Want to do me a favor? A favor? Loam vermin are everywhere in this cave. Loads of them, eh? Steel alone won't suffice if you're planning on killing them all. But you can prevent that using lightning, eh? With lightning? Here, kill the loam vermin! They make my trees sick. And don't forget the queen. All right, I will. If you don't have any more scrolls, come to me. But don't you waste them. We got some more. So you're back.
Come with me, my friend. I will take you to Argan. Avenge myself upon Robar the Third and his cursed paladins. You wouldn't know a sword from a toothpick. You want Ivy's death to go unavenged? No, but what if there was a way to avenge yourself without storming right into your death? Hmm. Let's hear it. It is said that there is an ancient temple somewhere in the mountains. They say there is a blessed anvil there. Robar's paladins search for the temple because they want to use the anvil to forge weapons. I see. Exactly. And if the anvil really does exist, forge yourself something to speed your vengeance. Where should I start looking for the temple? On the hill back there, in the Cleaved Maiden Tavern. You'll find a mage by the name of Duranis there. He knows a lot of the old stories. Talk to him. Maybe he'll have heard of the temple. Will you join me? No. You need to learn to stand on your own two feet. I'll be sailing on to Stuart. When you arrive in Stuart, talk to the landlord at the Cliff Tavern. He'll know where to find me. How do you know about the Paladin's plans? When I was still at Robar's court, I always kept a watchful eye on Lord Hagen and his men, and many a maid servant of the Paladins kept an ear open for me. So who is this Lord Hagen? He commands the Paladins and is a member of Robar's High Council. I don't know you. How'd you get in here? By boat. From Fesher. And you expect me to believe that? Look at the beach down there. That's my boat. <laughs> I'll let you through. But if you cause any trouble, you'll have us woodcutters to deal with. Got it? I'm looking for Duranus. In the pub or in his room. You best ask Murdra. Murdra? The landlady here. Just go in. You Greetings. <laughs> How can I help you? Are you Duranus? Yes. 
What do you want? I'm searching for an ancient temple up in the mountains. Yes, I heard about a temple up there. Where exactly? Don't know, but there is an archive of old maps in the fortress at Silver Lake. If ever there was a place to find a clue, it's there. So how do I get to Silver Lake? Not at all, at the moment. Brigands have occupied the bridge to Stuwak, but the people here are trying to think of a way to deal with the brigands. Help them! Who's working on the brigand problem here? Murdra, the landlady here, I'm sure. And I think Rorter has a plan too. Rorter? A guild fighter, making vague insinuations about secret negotiations with some of the brigands. Where's Rorter now? He's headed for the old Sederifian watchtower, to the south of here on the beach. What are you doing here? I thought mages hang around the monastery all day long. <laughs> Some do, indeed. I, however, am on my way by order of Grandmaster Milton. He has expressed great interest in the ancient stone circles scattered throughout Argain. And have you discovered anything about the stone circles? So far, only that they drive me insane. The Grand Master discovered a way to awaken their power. But all the circles I've found so far are immune to my magic. Hmm, I have a feeling someone's beaten us to the punch. What happens when a stone circle awakens? Apparently, the circles are connected. If one could establish a connection to one of the circles, it should be possible to travel instantly to it from another circle. We experimented with two circles in Thorny Ara, but nothing's working here. Well, if you're curious, there's one not far from the Cleaved Maiden. Was a ghost. Did you go see our noble man then? Yes. He suggested that I should lend a hand to the people around here. Mm, why not? You look like a big strong lad, you do. What do you want me to do? I'm starting to run out of mead. I see. You want me to get some for you? From Garve, one of the woodcutters. He must have a few barrels left. Would you get me two? I heard you had a plan for dealing with the brigands. <laughs> Looking to spy on me, are you? Uh, ah. Where can I- Out through the gate, then down the path to the right. That's where-
You're Rorta? Damn straight, that's me. I heard you had a plan for the brigands. You want to tell me about it? Sure. Listen, if the brigands were just robbers, I'd slaughter them in no time. But some of them are friends. You've got friends among the brigands? Yes, damn it. They joined Darton and his henchmen. Because murderers sold their boats while they were at war. <laughs> the poor bastards. Why did murderers sell their boats? I don't know exactly. Then why doesn't murderer give the fisherman the gold she got for the boats? Well, when Lorne came back from the war and heard what murderer had done, he went mad and stole her wooden leg. <laughs> wooden leg? What wooden leg? Murderer's late husband, Belgor, had a wooden leg. Murderer cares a lot about that leg. Yeah, it was a gift from the king, a souvenir. What do I know? <laughs> Women. Anyway, the two don't talk to each other anymore, right? So, what's your plan? Lorne takes the wooden leg back to Murderer, and Murderer gives the fishermen their gold for their boats. Then everything's fine. The fishermen can go fishing again, and I can slaughter them damn brigands at last. <laughs> Bingo! Then go talk to Lorne. Well, I did. But he doesn't trust me, because I'm staying at the Cleaved Maiden with Murderer. Do you want me to talk to Lorne? Yeah, why not? You're new around here and neutral, right? Where is he? Up there on the old watchtower. You're new here. Yes. Why? Then maybe you're not in yet with that murderer. What do you want me to do for you? I've lost a wooden leg. Sounds daft, I know. Why don't you do that yourself? The goblins are getting more and more cheeky. Rotter told me about the wooden leg. Yes, that's right. Now you want to give the wooden leg back? I want to exchange it for something else. You want to exchange the wooden leg for... Murderer may be attached to Belgor's leg, but believe me, she's much more attached to her gold she is. What do you want to swap the wooden leg for? Hey, I barely know you. I'll help you with that wooden leg. Could you at least give me a few hints that... It's somewhere on the hill, east of here. Oh, uh, smell of smoke and goblin piss, I remember that. I'll go and look for this leg then. No, I'm off to my hut on the beach. You'll find me there. Look at him. <laughs> what do you want here? I heard you had some mead. Well, looky here. We got a thirsty one. Just give me two kegs of mead, and I'll leave your face in one piece. Hey, lads, look here. He belongs to me. Hand me the mead. Here, take it. <laughs> 